Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just going to give everybody a, a few minutes to get on. Get everything set up here. Make sure we're going to share. Good morning. Good morning. Just give me a few minutes here to, to let everybody get online. Yes. It's Friday. It's mm -hmm. Friday. Yes, it is. It is Friday. It is Friday. Good morning, Karen. How are you doing? How are Sorry, you doing? Looking at no, no. We need to. I'm gonna get everything shared here real quick. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. There we go. <clears throat> My, my thumb is hitting the wrong buttons this morning. Ha <laughs> Oh. Yes. Doing the happy Friday dance. She's doing the happy Friday dance. Who good else morning, is doing Pat. the happy? Good morning. Good morning, Pat. How good are you morning, doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just going to give it just about another minute here, and then we're going to get started. All right. Yes, indeed. Woohoo. I'm excited. How's everybody doing this morning? I'm blessed and highly favored. Come on. Come, come on. on. <clears throat> I'm still feeling so good. I tell you what, God is good. He's been, woo, it's been on fire these last two nights for the revival. Yes, indeed. I feel amazing. Yes. I tell you what, God is moving. God is speaking. And we need to open our ears and listen. That's Come exactly on. right. That's exactly right. Yes. Yes, indeed. All yes, right. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and get started. Okay. Here. All right. <clears throat> well, good morning to everybody. Thank you for joining us. Greatly appreciated. Um, I'm just going to take right before. Uh, first, we're going to start with a word of prayer. Would you like to lead us in prayer? Sure, sure. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you this morning, Lord, and we just say thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father God, Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord, you're such a good, good God. Yes, you're such a Jesus wonderful name. God. Lord, Just, I just give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor, God, this morning. Lord, just you're making a move, God. And Lord, yes. I just, I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. Yes. I love you, Jesus. You're just so wonderful. Yes, Lord, I just ask you, God, Lord, for those watching online, Lord, bless them today. Bless them today. Let them walk in your favor. Let them walk in your love today. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Lord, name. open our ears. Open our eyes, Father yes. God, as we get geared up and suited up in the armor of God today. Yes. We yes. are walking and armored up in the yes. name of Jesus. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Blessed, Blessed and highly favored. favored. Yes, Pat. Yes, that indeed is who we are. That is who. Good morning, Bernice. Nice for you to join us. I'm super happy that everybody's here to start yes. their Friday off right. Come on. Mornings in faith have been such a blessing to us, and I hope that and pray that they're blessing you as well. It's just been uh, amazing this week. We've had, uh, last night was our second night of revival. I tell you what, if you if you missed it, I'm, I'm telling you, don't miss another one. It's Friday night. Don't tell me you got to go to work tomorrow. Some of us do, but I understand. Come on out. Come on out. I'm, I'm inviting you guys to come. Come and just get filled up. Get woke. That's what yes. a revival is all about. If you're feeling if you're feeling uh, a little down, if you're feeling uh, a little tired in, in yourself, if you're feeling those things, it's time to get woke up. Praise God. Come it's on. time to get into it, step into yes. it, and get delivered from whatever is bothering you, get mm -hmm. healed from whatever is ailing you, and just, just walk, walk in yes. what he has God. for us. Yes. You uh, you have uh, you, a scripture this morning at all that uh, you had, uh, yeah, wanted to share? Uh, just briefly, um, I know you have something mm -hmm. on your heart. But yes. Let me go. Um, yes. Mm. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Twenty nine thirteen. Then you will seek me, inquire for, and require me mm. as a vital necessity, and find me when you search for me 
with all your heart. Woo. When you search for me, for him with all, all your, your heart. heart. Yes, indeed. What happens when we when we do something with all our heart? When we were when we're all in. Well, yeah, we're all in. That's what we do with our heavenly Father. We do it with all our heart. Amen. Amen. All our good morning, Cindy. We've been praying for you. We do it with all our heart. Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen, right? Yes, that is correct. Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. You know the thing is, you know. Uh, Ben and I and our kids or whatever will say, I love you wholeheartedly. I love you. I love so you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. We can kind of, we can relate to that when you're in a relationship, you know, and, and or your kids like, I love my kids so much. They have my whole heart. I love my husband so much. They have my whole heart. Let's give our whole heart to Jesus. That's exactly right. Yes. In Jesus whole heart name. to Jesus. 100%. He's all got my in. heart. Amen. All in. All in. So Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. One more time. Thirteen so can, or eleven. I'm sorry, thirteen. You're right. Thank you for that. Then you will seek me, inquire for, and require me. I do require him as a vital necessity. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then and find me when you search for me. With all your heart. Mm, praise praise God. God. Praise so God. I just encourage you this morning. As Friday morning. We're getting ready for the weekend. Getting ready for a revival again tonight. Open your heart. Give Open. him all your heart. Give yes. him 100% of your heart. Yes. He's waiting on you. He loves you. He loves you so much. Mm. And I just ask for you to just open your heart to him. Because once we do that. Whoo. I tell you mm. what. Yes. It's awesome. I tell you what, I mean, that really means a lot to me. Uh, in in addition to what uh, Leslie's talking about, <clears throat> is the fact is, if you feel, feel, remember, feelings are liars, but if you feel that you're not in the presence of God, if you feel that he's not talking to you, if you feel that you are alone, if you feel like you are in the dark, what does it say? Seek him. With all your heart. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, that's the problem that so many people have. I want it, but I don't want to work for it. Ooh. I, I, I want what God's got to give me. Come on. But I want to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you right now, he will meet you wherever you are at. Yes, he if will. If you cry out to him. Mm -hmm. We must cry out to him. Amen. We must seek his face. Yes. We must do these things. If you're feeling like he's not talking to you, maybe he's waiting to hear from you. Yes. If you feel like you are in the dark, open your cotton-picking eyes because you're not. The glory of God is all around you. If you feel like you are alone, do repent and turn around, do a, a 180 because he's right there with you. If he's not in front of you, you need to t put your hand back on the plow and stop looking behind you. You know what I'm talking about? You, every, every one of us has a calling. Every one of us has a purpose. Every one of us has an assignment. Yes. And if we're not walking in it, we're not paying attention to what God has. We're paying attention to what the world has. We're at paying attention to where we were. We're paying attention to those things. So if God's not in your life, what does it say? What's the last? Where? Where is it? Acts. I mean Jeremiah. Yeah, let me go back. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to look at that. When you will seek me, inquire for and require me. Require of God and find me. Find me. Yes. He's so easy to find. Yeah, he is. He's so easy to find. But it takes some action on our part. It takes some action. We gotta seek him. It says right here, we got to inquire for God, where are you? Yes. I need to hear from you. In Jesus' name. Require. Father God, I I require that you lead my life. You are my Savior, but you, I want you to be my Lord. Yes. That is requiring of him for what he is. Yes. And find me when you search for me with all your heart. You can't do anything half-heartedly. We all know that old saying. 
Uh, he he just halfway does everything, right? Mm. And what do you know? You know, no. it, whatever that person touched, whatever that person did, it's going to fall apart because they only halfway, halfway did, did it. it. Oh, that's good. Come on now. It's that's a wholehearted good. thing. It's a wholehearted thing that we have to go and seek his face. We have to require of him. We mm. have to inquire. Have you seen God today? Have you seen God today? Have you seen God today? I'm looking for him. God, show me. And you open the door and boom. It's the, the door is closed because of what you're doing, not what he's doing. Open that door. He's right there waiting for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good morning, Larry. Thank you for joining in. Yes, yes, oh, indeed. Oh, man, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, when we, when we experience, who here has experienced the fullness of, I want more. Amen. And when you open your heart, and you can be a witness on here for those, just just type praise the Lord if you have opened your heart wholeheartedly to Him. Yes, yes. But you know what? We can continue to let that heart go deeper. Go deeper. And deeper. Deeper and deeper. Amen. The Word praise says. Praise the Lord. Yes. Deep upon deep. Deep. Deep upon deep. Yes. Take me where my feet will not carry me, Come right? On. Take Come me, on. Take me deep. You know, some of us are so scared if we don't see the shore. And I understand if you're in Galveston Bay, you want to see the shore. But I've got, <laughs> come on now. We all know, man, is there is that tar or is that seaweed touching my leg? What's Praise that? The Lord. We don't want Praise to get out Lord. too deep. Too deep. Yes. And, you know, we're looking at that water and we're going, we don't want to go out there. But I'm telling you, the spiritual water that is the living water that is, I want to be in it. I want to be in it deep at yes, all times. Good God. morning, Christian. Praise yes, God. I'm telling God. you, Thank we you want Jesus. to do those things. And, yes. and Christian, under, and actually when I was saying that just a minute ago, it's a praise God that, that Christian just joined us. Because what I was thinking was when Christian says she does not let her kids and herself get in the water when they go to Galveston. Oh, really? That literally popped into my head. Holy Spirit popped it into my head right before Christian came on. Oh, wow. That 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 right there, the Holy Spirit said, man, use that. And man, Christian popped online. Thank, Thank you, you, Holy Jesus. Spirit. Yes. I'm telling you right now, we don't want to get into that water out there in the bay. I understand that. But we do want to go deep. I'm telling you, his water is crystal clear. His water is invigorating. His water is purifying. His water is everything we need. We Come need on. we need to go deep. And I don't want to go foot first. I want to go head first into that water. I want to dive down and see what he's got for me. I know the gifts, <clears throat> all the gifts. I want to be open to whatever he has for me in that moment. Amen. I want to prophesy. I want to lay hands and heal. I want to have the gifts of he leans. I want to be able to have a word of knowledge and, and a word, word of, of wisdom. wisdom. Yes. I want to have the to prophesy in tongues. I want to do all those things. Why do you want to do those things, Ben? Because it says there to edify and exhort and comfort, comfort the, the body, body of Christ. Amen. It's not for me. It's for him. It's for him to come through me to anyone that's in front come of me. And I want the same things for you. Come and on. that's what's in the deep water. Those things are in the deep water. Those things are in the deep water. So as we look at that scripture yes, in Jeremiah, yes, yes. we inquire of him. We re require of him. Yes. We seek him with our whole heart because what he's got for you is amazing. It's, a, it's, it's all you need. It's beyond amazing. It's beyond our comprehension what the Lord has for you. So, Jeremiah 29, 13. Yes. Wholeheartedly give wholeheartedly. your whole all your heart. Give it to Jesus. Yes. Open it up. Go deeper with him. Yes. Go deeper with him. Yes. If you say I don't know, Holy Spirit told me something last night for somebody very dear to me. Revealed it right there on the spot. It was a confirmation what God said to do, what they what they needed. So, how do I do that? How do I go deeper? Spend time with God. Spend time. Well, what do you mean? Go to your quiet place. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Just start off by that. Yes. Just start off by saying thank you, Jesus. That's why we say it every morning. That's what I do. I get up and just thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then let it turn into your worship. Let it turn into your praise to him. Yes, amen. He just wants, he just wants time with you. 
time with you alone. You know, I was talking to uh, our daughter yesterday. I had I was fortunate enough to have lunch with her, and uh, she was talking about she uh, on her on her phone on her home page. She actually moved some of the apps off of her home page because when she opened it, her her immediate muscle memory was to click on those social medias. Mm. Just click. What she did, she replaced. She put the Bible app in its place. Mm, so now, good. now where she goes, where she used to, she used to get to Snap or Insta or whatever, whatever these kids are on these days. She would go there. Now she is inclined to go where she needs to go. Thank now, you, and I and I want to uh, to jump on what uh, Les, Leslie's talking about here too. You cannot seek your, you cannot seek his face, and you cannot spend time with him and go into your quiet place if you have this in your hand. Ooh. If you have this in your hand, if you have the television on, I'm telling you, when you want to seek his face, that's why it's called the quiet place. That's why it's called the secret place. You don't want the world there. You don't want to distract I'm telling you, there's nobody in this world that needs you for the next 15, 20 minutes to an hour that you need to spend with him. Nobody needs you for that long. I mean, I had to learn this. I had, I mean, I was just like, oh, I don't want to turn my phone off because somebody might need prayer. I'm, I don't want to, I was like acting like I was God. They, the only way that they could get taken care of it was me. So I'm telling you right now, turn it out. Well, my brother might call me. He can leave a message. Well, my sister might need me. She can leave a message. Well, my, my mom and my dad, they can leave a message. You'll get back to them in just a few minutes. Spend time with the Father because that's where the answers are at. That's it. And he gets our first. Yes, first. He, get, first. he gets our first and our all. Yes. Our first and our all. Our first and our all. Oh, yes. In our heart. Yes. First in all ways. And I know it's going to be hard for people around you to understand that. Well, I'm not important anymore. No, you're actually very, very important to me. And you're so important to me that I'm going to spend more time with God. Because he's got things for me that are going to help you. Yes. Indeed. And then they're going to see the light of the world in you. The Come light on. of the Father in you. Come on. And it's going to shine in the world. That's why we need to put those other things over here on the shelf, and we need to make sure we are off the shelf yes. and seeking Him in all things. Come on. What's amazing to me is how how that parlays into the uh, those scriptures that we have next uh, on Hebrews. If you could uh, comment, oh. Hebrews twelve twenty five. We're going to go into Hebrews twelve twenty five because we want to seek Him wholeheartedly. But the fact is, sometimes we need a consuming fire to remove the slag and to remove the chaff of our flesh from a situation. So I'm going to go to Hebrews 12, 25, 12, 25 through 29. If you want to join in, you have your Bible there with you, 12, 25 through 29. It's in the comments as well. And I'm going to start reading here. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking. Okay? He's not talking about God, him. It's a small him. He's talking about anybody that is speaking to you truths of the word of God. For if they do not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will they escape if they reject him who warns from heaven. You follow me? You follow me? The warning is coming from the Father. The warning is coming from the Father. If you cannot escape it, uh, when they refuse, when they refused Him who warned them on warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject Him who warns from heaven. Praise God! All that time, His voice, His voice, God's voice, shook, shook the earth. But now He He has promised. Yet once more I will shake not only the heavens, but all earth rather, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken. That is, things that have been made in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. 
Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship mm -hmm. with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. And we always use that particular scripture. We say our God is a consuming fire, like he's going to just remove all the problems that are around us. I'm telling you right now, what he's saying right here is you need to listen to him. <coughs> and last night we in the, in the revival, this was said, and this is something that I've said, some, that's something that so many people that I, I have close relationships that are saying, we need less of me and more of Jesus. Shake me, Father. Shake me. Remove what is in Come me on. that needs to be removed. Come on. Okay? You know, you get a, you get a basket, and you know, you're for gold, okay? You see them? They're shaking it, right? They're, 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 they're sifting down the, the fine particles, right? They're getting out what needs to be getting out. They're, 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 they're shaking it in the water to remove what needs to, so the heaviness stays down at the bottom. That's where the gold is. Come on. We need to have everything removed from us. We need the consuming fire of the God, we, of God, because He is going to leave us where we need to be. He is going to take us where we need to be. And I'm telling you right now, it says, Yet once more indicates the removal of things that are shaken. That is, things that have been made in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. I don't want anything in me that is me. No. All I want left is, when I look in the mirror, I want to see the what God has for me. I want to see the Jesus in me. Mm. I want to see what Come the on. Holy Spirit Come has on. for me today. I want to see where I'm at in Come the body on. of Christ Come so on. I can go out and I can edify, I can exhort, and Come I can on. comfort. Those are the kind of things that we Come need on. to seek. Come Those on. are the kind of things Come we need on. to seek. We need to be consumed. You can't read it because it's backward, but this says... Consumed. I want to be consumed every single day. I want to be consumed by Him. And how do you do that? Woo! By going to Jeremiah and looking at it and saying, seeking Him wholeheartedly. Come on. If I am only, you know, when you're uh, you lose your keys, nothing else matters. The, oh. do the dog's barking. The baby's crying. Somebody's honking for you to hurry up and come outside. When you're looking for your keys, all that stuff becomes second, right? You focus on finding your keys. And what, do you, what do you do? You find your keys. Yes. Why are we spending less time seeking God than the things of this world? Come, come on, on. I'm going to preach this morning, okay? On. I'm, gonna, I'm on fire. I'm ready to come go. On. I woke up and I'm come like, on. man, I really don't want to do this today, God. And he goes, you need to get out of bed because I got something to say. Come on. I want to make sure you understand oh, if you're in a season that is having an issue, if you feel alone, if you feel in the dark, if you feel hurt, if you feel rejected... Seek Him, because that's where it's at. Be consumed. Let Him shake out the things. And you cannot be consumed if you are not seeking Him. You cannot find the keys, the keys that He gives us. Remember Jesus said, I, I give you the keys. keys. I say you can loose on earth and it is loosed in heaven. You can bind on earth and it is bound in heaven. I'm telling you right now, we need to seek those keys. And those keys are in the presence of the Father. Yes, and God. if you need those things, Come on. seek Him. I want, and Come right on. now, I'm going to tell you, if you need to do that after this video is off, turn your phone off. Come turn on. your phone off and seek, Come get on. on your face and seek Him today because He has great things for you. Yes, he he has wonderful things yes, for he you. Does. He has amazing things for you. Yes, and does. all you have to do is seek it. Seek it. Find those keys. Yes, Put everything behind you. I got to do this. I got to do that. No. It says you shake the things in order to shake the things that cannot be shaken my, my, may remain. My. We want to remove the things that don't need to be in us. Yes, God. The things that don't need to be in us is social media. The things that don't need to be in us is the things that our parents have said over us. The things that we don't need to is the, the stinking thinking, as we've we've talked about Ooh, in the revival. Hey, the stinking thinking. You, we don't need those things. No. We need only what He has. We only need what His promises are because this is the truth. Those facts, those facts are trumped by this. Come on. Truth. Praise Come God on. this Praise morning. God. Whoa, I'm telling you what. Woo. Holy yes, Spirit, thank, thank you very much. I'm thank glad you. I left the fan on. Earlier I was cold. I was going to turn the fan off and I'm like, eh, I'm going to leave it on. I'm glad I did.
I'll be sweating right praise now. Praise God. God. Praise yes. God. Yes. Praise Shake. God for this day. Thank you, Jesus, Father mm. God, Lord, as you gave us the words this morning. And, Lord, you put it <coughs> on my heart that we need to be wholeheartedly. Lord, yes. we need to open our hearts to you, Father God. And, Lord, Holy Spirit, you came in like came a in. fire. Yes, consumed. And consumed us. Father God, right now, those that are watching, I, I stretch my hands forth. Right mm -hmm. now, if you're on this other end watching, I say right now, receive, receive and feel yes. that the fire of God is over you. Just lift your hands and, yes. and just and say, God, right yes. I give you my heart. God, yes. consume yes. me with your fire. Yes. Father God, yes. Lord, burn out what's not of you and consume me. Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, God. let them feel your presence. Yes, let them feel Jesus, your love. Man. Let them know, God, give them the gift. Lord, if, yes. they, if they say, I've never seen her, I don't know. Lord, I say right now and impart every gift that you have for them in the name of Jesus. Jesus in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus name. I thank you, Father God, Lord, that these people are going to go deeper. They're going to yes. go deeper in you in the name of Jesus. Father God, Lord, that, Lord, that they have a craving and a desire to pick the word of God up. They're going to yes. say, what is this that they're talking about? Out. How yes. can they? Well, right here, Father God, your word is true. We stand on your word. We believe yes. in your word. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that we can turn to you in everything yes. wholeheartedly. Seek your face yes. every day every because, day. God, you will take us deeper. Yes. You will take us deeper. Yes. We suit up with the armor of God. Yes. We put it on and yes. we walk out in the world and your light shines brightly, mm. Father God, Lord, so everybody can see. Yes. That's yes. a Jesus person. Yes. They love him wholeheartedly. And yes. I can feel it. When people get around you, I'm going to say right now, when people get around you, my God, they feel it. They yes. feel it. They feel you, God. Yes, and they say, Father. what is it? It's Jesus Christ. Jesus the Christ. King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord of lords. I thank you, Father. Yes. Oh, I thank you, God. Yes, Father. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Hmm. Mm. Yes, in Jesus' name, Father God. Yes. My God, I thank you. Yes, in Jesus' name. I mm. thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. Yes, in Just Jesus. receive today. Yes, in Jesus' Just name. Just receive yes, today. In Jesus' name. Receive today. Receive it. Receive Don't it. let another minute go by. Yes. If you have a second to get on here, mm. we thank you for joining in. Yes. We pray this encourages you. Yes, indeed. And I pray as I do every day, the Holy Spirit comes in and sets you on fire. That's exactly right. That's the only fire we want is his. Yes. You know, if you feel if you feel weak, if you feel like you don't have any strength, he says you can walk and not be weary, run and not run and not be weary, walk and not yes. faint. Those are the things the Father gives us. Yes. Those are the things the Father gives yes. us. Yes. If you feel anything less than that, what does it say in Jeremiah? It says to seek him with all your, your heart. heart. What does it say in Hebrews? It says that to, we want to have what is of the world shaken out of us. Yes. We want to be consumed by the Father, yes. the fire that is the Father. Yes. Guys, we're going to pray uh, over the, the yeah. prayer request that we have. We have two that I want to mention um, I know that uh, Becky's niece, um, she is uh, in bed sick right now uh, from, uh, from a certain vaccination. Uh, so I want to make sure that we keep her in prayer. Also, Billy Crumpton, our friend uh, and brother who did the praise and worship on Wednesday night, uh, is in the hospital. <clears throat> so I want to, uh, you everybody to be in prayer for him, uh, I want you also. I'm gonna just lay hands on the on the prayer request today, and we're gonna pray over every single prayer request that we have written in yes, here. God. Um, but I, guys, I want you to you know know something real quick is the fact that when we seek His face, we aren't asking for prayer; we are asking to receive in that moment. Yes, we are we are seeking His face so. We can receive Amen. things from him that Amen. we're talking about. We're talking about supernatural knowledge. We're talking about God 
knowledge. We're talking about there's two types of wisdom in the world. There's the wisdom of the world and there's the wisdom of heaven. That's what we're seeking in those moments. Yes. We're not going to him say, I need this, I need that. that that's prayer time, right? and that's understandable, and that's what we have to do. But when we seek his face, the things that we're talking about this yes. morning is not about prayer time. It's about spending time with, with the it, Father. Yes. That's about spending time. Come on. Change me. Gracefully break me. Yes. Move me. Tell me where I need to go. Yes. Show me my next step. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes. So, Father God, right now we come to yes, you. God. We claim healing. We claim restoration. We claim all the things that we need, that are needed, rather, over these prayer requests today, Father. We lift them up to you, Father. That you go in and convict them and show each and every prayer request that you are present, that yes. you are large, and that you are in charge. Come on. You are. You are a consuming fire. Yes. The things in, that are, we're lifting up in prayer are of the flesh and of the world. Father God, it says right now, we just read it, that those things need to be shaken out. So you need, Father God, we move your hand in faith over these prayers, to remove these things and shake them out of the individuals that we're praying for. So, Father God, you can come in in a higher abundance, that you can help them go deep upon deep, that you can they can walk deeper with you, that they can be the light to the world that is you in them. I claim all of these things right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jeffrey's car, we're going to be praying for him. That just, we'll add that to the list. But since it's right here, I want to make sure. Pray for Jeffrey's car. Yes. I know that uh, Lisa Hendershot's mother, uh, she's going to get uh, some more testing done on the, the, the heart attack that she had. So we need to keep her in prayer. Folks, we, there's, there's a lot of prayers out there. I want you to keep commenting what they are. If you don't want to comment in here, send, send us a message. Send it to myself. Send it to Leslie. Send it to us both. We're going to add and we're going to be in prayer over those things every single day. Because we want to come in one accord together. One accord together over prayer requests. Amen. Yes. It's because Jesus says, if two ask... To ask, and we ask in his name, it shall be. Yes. So, guys, we love you very much. Yes. Super happy that you joined yes. us. I'm telling you tonight, don't miss another night. If you haven't come, or if, you, if you're if you too far away, watch online. We Everything's posted online. I want to make sure, I want to make sure if you are close by, that you come. Yes. You come to the revival. Yes, and I just want to tell you this. Somebody said something that I heard last night, overheard somebody saying, watching online if you can't make it, I get it. But when you can be there, mm. and there's several of you who have been there yes. these last two nights that are watching right now, it is different when you're oh, yeah. in there. Yeah. Yes, you can feel it through the airwaves, but let me tell you, when you get there and you feel the presence of God and you are in that moment and you're there and yes. God is moving and he's there. If you're if you're in and around and you need something, you need to come. Yes. I encourage you, get out and come. Bring a friend. It has been awesome. Let God do something for you today. Yep. Mr. White, I'm still praying that your vehicle, I know your transmission is having issues. I'm praying that that you're able to come and join us as well. I know that you wanted to come, and I, I know that there's that's been an issue, uh, Mr. Wyatt. So uh, we're praying that something happens and, and opens up because we want you to be able to join us as well. Yes. Guys, tonight, tonight is the third night of the revival. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. It's Friday night. You don't, Most of you don't have work tomorrow, so you've got no excuse why you can't come tonight. I'm telling you that, you know, like, oh, well, you're just trying to make, if, to guilt us out. I'm not trying to guilt you out. I'm trying to get you in to the new generation. And you got to understand something. Come what on. I just said, that's what we're talking about. I'm not going to go into it too much because you need to come and hear it yourself. Come on. You need to feel come the on. presence of the Father. Yes, you do. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to take that with you. You're going to take that light out into the world. Praise God. Yes, Praise yes, God. yes. 
Woo! Amen. Well, guys, we call I hope, yes, I'm just excited that you're online. Get fired up this morning. I hope this encouraged you. I yes. pray it does. Yes. We love you. We love you. We, we call you blessed and highly favored, favored in Jesus', Jesus name. name. We love you guys, and we will see you tonight. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you tonight. And then, of course, Monday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. Love yes. you guys. Love you. See you soon.